Hello everybody, my name is Shay Too Sweet, you call me Shay for sure, and guess who got those things in? <gasps> for my Mika's a cosplay, I'm so happy, <laughs> I finally get to use them, oh my god, these are really good. Shay, you spent too much money on cosplay, did I ask you? <laughs> so, we're doing a death, they're doing a death battle, uh, I don't really care. I don't really. Blake? Blake. Balake. We're doing Balake versus Mikasa. At least for the original creator. We'll be down below. I'll be your resident black friend talking through the whole entire thing. Hey, look, look. I have got a black friend. So let's go and let's jump into it. Blake Belladonna, the feline huntress from Ruby. And Mikasa Ackerman, the giant peeling scout from Attack on Titan. These two mm. reluctant heroes are fighting for a better world. What'll happen when they go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to see who's the swingiest and the cuttiest? He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Make a sound, but... Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. I wonder if JFK was thinking about anime cat girls when he said that. Despite the world of Remnant being home to a plethora of magical beings, the Faunus were subject to discrimination from humanity. That's so dumb. How can humans be racist against Faunus? Aside from looking slightly different, they're basically exactly the same. Oh. I get it. For most of her youth, Blake Belladonna worked with the Faunus activist organization, the White Fang. But when her parents expressed concern at its growing violent tactics, she ran away to join them fully. Yeah, Ginger Kylo Ren's influence was making it all cat girl supremacist -y. Believing the Faunus deserved to rule the world instead of humans, Adam Taurus turned the White Fang into a terrorist organization. With the young, impressionable Blake in tow, now Blake got to put her superhuman faunus abilities to the test as a gorilla fighter. She's not a gorilla, Wiz. She's clearly a cat. You dingus. That's not what as I As a clearly cat faunus, Blake's got superhuman strength, speed, and endurance. She can see in the dark and even pick up on sounds regular humans can't hear. Blake has also unlocked her aura, the manifestation of one's soul. Similar to the Eastern concept of chi, Blake can use her aura to passively withstand intense damage. Though, if it's overtaxed, she will be as defenseless as any ordinary human. Her aura survived this huge flying monster called the Nevermore crashing into her. Twice! Measuring the size of the Nevermore compared to the stone structure it shattered, we can gauge it had to have fragmented over 2,000 cubic meters of rock. That means Blake's aura ate over four tons of TNT without even breaking. I guess mm. you could say she, no, sold it. Eh? No, eh? stop it. Don't try that again. Or I'm gonna have to cut you with a sword as sharp as Gamble Shroud. It's everything you could ever want in a sick anime combo weapon. Part katana, part kasurigama, and it wouldn't be Ruby if it wasn't part gun. Hell, its sheath is a sword too. That's just showing off, and I like it. The 96 meter long elastic ribbon attached to the katana's hilt lets Blake use Gamble Shroud as a grappling hook for maneuverability and creative attacks. An invaluable asset for the White Fang and her new boyfriend. Well, until he threatened to blow up a bunch of innocent people. Now, instead of a bad boy, he's just a boy that is bad. Horrified, Blake turned her back on Adam and the White Fang. And for Bruh, this is Mika. <laughs> is this every anime girl? <laughs> Fucking Jaeger went fucking. Hold up, I don't know the when this was filmed when Jaeger went fucking insane, but I, but I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm still down with Jaeger. Okay. Anyway. The second time in her life, she ran away. It's like running away is her superpower. In a sense, it is. Blake's aura allows her to manifest a unique ability or semblance called Shadow. Born from her desire to escape, Blake can create a brief, intangible clone for deception, evasion, or even to propel herself through the air. She can even combine them with different kinds of dust, which is basically magic gunpowder. Yeah, I just took my medication while I'm streaming. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Ooh, keep going. Fire dust clones will explode on impact, while ice will freeze you solid. Though, once she runs out of aura, that's it for her semblance, too. Uh, Wiz? Buddy, man, I, I killed him, and it wasn't even on purpose. Don't worry, just some biological cloning. It's a hobby. Don't ask if I'm the original. I genuinely don't know anymore. Alone again, Blake lacked purpose and a place to call home until she reached Beacon Academy. 
There, she learned to be a huntress, a soldier of peace sworn to protect the land from monsters and any that would do it harm. And she wouldn't do it alone. Blake would join up with fellow huntresses in training, Wei Shi, Yang Zhao Long, and Ruby Rose to make Team Ruby. God, leave that fucking She didn't just find teammates, but friends as well. Ugh, feelings gross. Don't worry, the power of friendship didn't get in the way of her kicking some ass. In fact, it made her even better at it. She's defeated the gangster Roman Torchwick, the kaiju side Sea Fei Long, and the assassins Mercury and Emerald, and they could dodge natural lightning. Comparing the distance they traveled relative to the lightning bolt, we can determine they were moving over 26,000 meters per second, nearly 80 times the speed of sound. She even managed to stand up to Adam and all his mom just sound. doesn't understand okay. energy with the help of a new, way less toxic partner. So long, you abusive a-hole! No easy feat considering Adam was strong enough to pulverize this massive spider droid with his moon slice, a feat worth over four tons of TNT. Not too bad for a bootleg Virgil, and Gamble Shroud could take hits like that over and over before breaking. Despite her troubled past, Blake would never stop fighting for a better, more peaceful, more equitable world. She was done running. With her friends at her side, she would face the future head on. Miss. The Meow Girl. So long. Welcome to scenic Shiganshina. Enjoy the rustic medieval architecture. Hardy populace. Well, technically, technically my hometown, since the people that came didn't kill my mom and, and everything else, and then they wanted to sell me, whatever. But my hometown, yay! Let's get these walls. And, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yep, that can be good. <laughs> Towering behind enormous walls, the last remnants of humanity were driven to near extinction by the arrival of the monstrous titans. Despite that, little Mikasa Aggerman lived a happy, normal life. Until her parents were brutally murdered in front of her. But never fear, she Una reversed the shit out of those assholes with the help of Aaron Yeager, another pint-sized psychopath in training. Adopted by Aaron's parents, Mikasa and Aaron somehow lived a happy, normal life. Until all their friends and family were brutally murdered by titans. I'm sensing a pattern here. With barely anyone in her life lasting longer than a 25-minute episode, Mikasa became Eren's guardian angel. Certainly a valuable asset to Eren, who devoted his life to exterminating the Titan threats. Together, they joined the military and got their hand- <laughs> Sorta. <laughs> hands on some sweet Titan slaying gear, the vertical maneuvering equipment, or Vimy. Also known as Omnidirectional Movement, or ODM gear yeah. in the anime, it allows Mikasa to fight the towering yeah. titans at their own level. ODM gear comes with two 20 to 30 foot long iron wire spears she can separately aim and shoot. It'll hook into any surface. They'll allow her to swing around like a steampunk Spider-Man. She can zoom through the air and change directions on a dime with a special fan on her back that fires pressurized gas. Farting. That's called farting, Wiz. <laughs> Can can we get back to Mika son? Please, thank you. I'll get another clone. Mikasa's ODM gear can propel her at speeds up to 366 kilometers per hour. Oh, That's about... almost a third the speed of sound. Assuming she can reach tops. They're about to fuck her up because the other girl can go faster than the, the speed of fucking sound. They're gonna say Mika's son's gonna lose, and I, I'm I'm not I'm I'm already I'm already gearing up to be pissed. Speeds in a second. That's over 10 G's of force, 10 times Earth's gravity. For reference, astronauts can stand about 3 G's of force during liftoff, and fighter pilots can withstand up to 9 G's for a second or two during aerial combat. Even just 6 G's for a sustained period of time can be fatal for a human being, but Mikasa can survive almost twice that much and fight giant monsters at the same time. That insane speed makes her especially deadly when she whips out her special titan slashing swords made of ultra hard steel. And that's exactly the term I'd use to describe myself after watching what they can do to a titan. Despite their name, they're rather fragile, at least relative to the super tough titan skin they have to repeatedly cut. So Mikasa carries a set of 12 that she can easily dispose of and replace mid-combat. Yeah, that kind of became a problem when some super intelligent titans started sporting crazy tough armor. That's when Mikasa breaks out the big guns, the Thunder Spears. 
essentially proto bazookas the thunder spear that's not crazy tough that's not crazy it's only certain type shay don't be that guy do not be that guy leave it alone leave it alone are thrown like javelins. They're sharp enough to pierce even the armored titan's impenetrable hide. And once their fuse is severed, they'll explode, devastating anything within range. Shattering the armored titan's armor is no joke. It was tough enough to tank punching a hole through wall Maria. By measuring the size of the gate in comparison to, uh, let's go with this guy, we can determine the armored titan violently fragmented over a thousand cubic meters of rock. That'd take over 18 tons of TNT, enough to level a city block, and the Thunder Spear shrank it. No surprises here. If you're too close to one of its blasts, it's game over. Despite the awesome power at her fingertips, Mikasa only. And, 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 uh, and again, fuck you, Reiner. <laughs> really joined the military to watch over and protect Eren. Like a loving mother hen of death. And that became way harder once Eren learned he could also turn into one of those super intelligent titan. Now humanity's greatest weapon against the titan menace, Eren was at the center of all major anti-titan operations, which meant Mikasa was there too, ruthlessly dispatching anyone that might harm him. Get over yourself, Eren. So what if your child at home was destroyed by a titan? You're living rent-free in this girl's head. And it could be worse. You could be Armin. Man, like she's programmed to protect him. You're not off base. Mikasa's last name isn't inconsequential. Ages ago, the Ackermans were bioengineered to be subservient super soldier royal guards to the mighty Eldian Emperor. Well, wherever all that shit came from, Mikasa's got the Ackerman blood coursing through her veins. The same blood that gives her a fraction of a titan's power without transforming. Holy crap! It's that power that allowed Captain Levi, another Ackerman, to dodge point-blank bullets. That's over Mach 2, and Mikasa can easily keep up with her. It also lets her. Oh my god, Levi's so hot. Okay, sorry. Subcon and now he has an eye patch too. I really think I got a thing for dudes with eye patches and fucking and fucking blindfolds. Cause Levi, now he has an eye patch too after um in the later seasons because of because of fucking Jaeger's brother. Consciously tap into the combined experience and battle instincts of Ackerman's past. She's like the avatar of Titan murder. Unfortunately, this blood bond with Eren means that even when he goes too far, she's obligated to protect him. Kind of like a robot. I don't buy it, Wiz. She doesn't love him because of her DNA. She loves him because he's the only one who stood up for her when she couldn't stand up for herself. When she looks at him and the rest of her friends, she sees a hope for a brighter tomorrow. Wow, Boomstick, that was, that was touching. And she has fart powers. Well, it was nice while it lasted. I'm not listening to another word of this. Let's no fucking go! I really think they're gonna give it to the other bitch. I really think they're gonna give it to the other bitch because the other bitch can fly fast or some dumb shit. But she, I put it like this, I ain't never seen the other bitch, Balake, Balake. I never seen the other bitch do her shit, but I am an attack on Titan fan and I I'm I will die on this sword. I will die because they don't because I don't give a flying fuck on how much they say that Mika that um, that Mika son is not gonna get it. I'm still gonna go for her because of the fact that the matter is they, they can never factor in how crazy that bitch is. And that's what that's and that's that's why I'm gonna go with Oh yeah, put yours down below or over here. Thank you. Yo, listen. If you don't like and comment right now, I'm gonna fight you. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, if you've got a love life as intense, nope, nope. nope the same. Nobody cares. Stop. Nobody still cares. Evacuate. The Time for a death battle. Civilians were supposed to evacuate this area hours ago. Get the hell out of here. They're coming. You deaf? I said get the hell. Two sets of ears. You 
must have four times the hearing. Come on, Mikisa. Beat her air. Oh my god. those clones and attacking me from behind okay they're they gonna say that she fucking ran out of shit that's what the fuck they're gonna say oh my oh my fucking god this is pissing me off Mika Sun doesn't just throw her fucking blades away. Oh my fucking god, this is pissing me off. They're gonna say that she ran out. They're gonna fucking say that she ran out and I'm gonna be pissed the fuck off. Survive that blast. Gotcha this time. They're gonna say that side shit. Bullshit! Suck three dicks! Suck three dicks sideways. Suck three dicks sideways. I don't give a fuck. Incoming! KO! I told her not to get too close to that thunder spear. Too bad she can't hear omniscient narration from beyond the fourth wall! Mikasa's overwhelming and frankly terrifying tenacity, Blake's varied arsenal and powers gave her a clear edge. The ODM gear allowed Mikasa to- I already knew what the fuck they were gonna say. They were gonna say Mikasa was- They can't factor in that Mikasa- Mikasa fucking crazy as hell. I'm sorry. To keep up with Gamble Shroud's agility, but in terms of offense, Mikasa was kind of a one-trick pony. And that's especially compared to the Swiss anime knife that is Gamble Shroud, which could stretch 10 to 16 times longer than either of Mikasa's cable. Blake's variety of shadows she could spam at will kept Mikasa guessing, and her aura allowed her to survive any attacks that could land. To be fair, the Thunder Spears were a different story, and were powerful enough to shatter Blake's aura. The aura could survive around 4 tons of TNT, while the Spear's explosion could dish out over 18. But Blake's far greater speed made her nearly impossible to consistently hit. While Mikasa could keep up with characters that can dodge bullets, Blake could keep up with characters that can, can dodge, dodge lightning. lightning. In this case, nearly 40 times faster than Mikasa. That's what the fuck I said. I said, I said they gonna, they gonna say that she's slow as hell and everything else. Man, fuck these people. Uh, I mean, I mean, it is what it is. I still, I still give... Oh my god. I gotta send these back. What the hell happened here? Anyway, no, I still say fuck that shit because of the fact that the matter is that's some bullshit. Fuck that shit. It, look, bro. Like, I don't understand this dumb shit that people be doing. <clears throat> if they're, if they're both, if they're both, like, human, let them fight. Like, what, why the fuck are you going...
And those Thunder Spears are meant for big, slow titans, not human opponents, so it's unlikely she'd ever get a solid hit in with one. In that same sense, Mikasa's Ackerman heritage couldn't save her either. It may give her generations worth of combat experience Avatar style, but almost all of it was against titans, not a fun as Huntress like Blake, who has powers the Ackerman family has never seen before. Coupled with her Odium Gear's limited fuel supply and breakable swords, Mikasa just couldn't end the fight before her own options ran out. Mm. Mikasa had guns but Blake's speed, versatility, and sick anime combo weapon gave her the edge. It may have been a gamble, but Blake had the spirit to win without Shut a shadow of a up. doubt. The winner is Blake Belladonna. I don't give a fuck. Fuck Balake. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, okay, I'm I'm biased. A duh and a ola. You could tell who I was rooting for. Um, It's like wearing a jersey to a game. You know who she rooting for. Look, bro. Look, bro, look, look, this, this weird cat bitch could win. All right. <laughs> this weird, put it like this, this weird cat bitch will win, right? Let that bitch pop off with Jaeger around. Let that bitch pop off with Jaeger around. See how, see how that bitch is going to survive against that army of colossal titans if you kill Mickey's son. See how the fuck that will happen, all right? I'm just going to put that the fuck up out there. Okay, again. Put put your comments down below. Which one you want me to do let next? My name is Shay Too Sweet. You can call me Shay for short. And like my grandmother always states, so long. Man, fuck that bitch. Block ass bitch. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. Dress up, darling. If you gon' spin out them close to me, uh. Bring out the can, would you post me, uh? What would you do to get close to me, uh? I blow the flowers, that's perfect. I hit it once in this wedding. I hit that ass in the back of the Chevy. Bust up a bag and she let me. Then blow the gas like we at the Getty. She like, you gotta respect me. Oh, this would've been perfect. Crap, my damn green screen. <laughs> Fuck it out. We'll just take this part off. Cause my green screen can fuck up a shot real quick. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I have the power. Perfect. All right. Three, two, one.